Greetings, and thanks for joining me today. My name is Rich Kerr, and I'm with Alpha Software. I'd like to take just a few moments to share with you a demonstration of an application we've built for a major metropolitan police department. The thrust behind this application was to provide police officers with a convenient and effective way to capture data when they're working in the field. The various data points have been grouped into pages accessible from this main menu. The menu also has a button labeled Tap to Start Timer, which I'll do now. This will let us capture how long it takes for me to complete the process. There are also buttons that launch into online resources like a police bulletin, a video tutorial on best practices for using the app, and a button to submit everything once I'm done. There's also a section labeled Usage Mode. I'll tap Training Mode for the purposes of our demo. Let's go into the date and location section. Here I can record the date and time of the interaction or stop. I'll hit set to current time to update that. Then we see a field labeled adult or juvenile. I'll tap that and select one of the available values. Let's go with adult and hit the check mark. Where it says event recorded, I'll tap that. And this is a drop down that lets me select multiple items. So I'll, ind I'll indicate that the event was recorded with my body-worn camera as well as a nearby security camera, and I'll hit the check mark. Now where it says address of stop, I could tap where it says street address, and I could go and manually type in a street address, or I can use the button labeled get GPS address. So we'll tap that, and it'll pull in the current location from the GPS connection. Notice in this case, because we're in front of a commercial establishment, it says location category is amenity, location type is pharmacy, the name is Walgreens, and it's got the street address, the community area or neighborhood is Hyde Park, and we've got the city, county, state, and zip, along with the latitude and uh, longitude and latitude coordinates. Let's go ahead and tap show map view, and that'll take us to an online map showing us the location along with any street view photos. We'll tap our back button to go back into the app. Now at the top left, there's a button that returns me to the main menu. Let's use that to go into the contact info section. Where it says name and age, I'll tap in the first name field and I'll tap in the text box. And this time, instead of typing, I'll use the microphone to do speech to text. Michael. And it captured that pretty easily. Let's go to the last name field. Smith. Same thing, so we've got the name captured. I'll go to where it says date of birth, and I have these scrollable elements for selecting a month, a day, and a year. Now once that's been done, of course it calculates the age. Let's enter the email address. I'll go into the username part, and I'll type M Smith from my on screen keyboard. And then we have the domain section, which gives me a drop-down list of frequently used email domains. So I'll tap the at gmail.com choice. Of course, you could type in a domain if it wasn't part of the list that we have available. For phone number, I'll tap and enter 312-867-5309 and hit done. Now for the citizen's address, we have four placeholders labeled home, school, work, and temporary. So I wanna indicate where this person lives I'll tap the home selection, and where it says home address, I'll tap there, and I'll use the on-screen, uh, or rather the uh, microphone, um, as opposed to the on-screen keyboard. 5252 South Cornell Avenue, Chicago. So it captured what I, what I said and got that into the field really quickly, and now I'd like to validate that address. So I'm going to click where it says check address. So the reverse search found the address, and it also found that that address has a name associated with it, 5252 Apartments. Uh, there was only one match on that search, right? We see result one of one. So that's a good match, and I'll tap yes, and it pulls that information into the app. It also shows me that that location is three-tenths of a mile from our current location, and if I tap get directions, it will now show me our online directions uh, to help me get there if, I, if that's my next, uh, my next step. We'll go ahead and back uh, into the app. But we can do that same process with the school, work, and temporary addresses. Let's move on to the physical appearance section. Okay. So with physical appearance, 
You've got things like gender, I'll tap male. Uh, for feet, I'll tap five. And inches, I'll tap nine. You get the idea. Uh, you can enter the weight. Uh, for things like build, we have a drop down, I'll tap average. For eye color, we'll tap uh, brown. Uh, for hair color, we'll type, uh, type tap light brown. You get the idea. So where it makes sense, you have drop downs to enter data to make it straightforward and simple. Now, even though we entered those descriptive elements, there's nothing like a picture to tell the story. So I'll hit the option that says tap to capture image, and we can actually grab a, a picture of the person from our, uh, from our, uh, our camera. And when you do that, you can also mark the image up. So once that picture's been taken, you'll notice the little pen icon in the lower right-hand corner. I can use that to mark up the image. Uh, we can change the pen color and thickness. I'll go with, say, the orange color. And then I can use that to circle or otherwise emphasize parts of the picture and tap save. So now the marked up version of the picture is part of the record. And we'll hit the check mark to confirm. We can enter elements like clothing. If I, if I tap where it says add clothing item, where it says item, I'll do say a jacket, hit the check mark, and for the color, I'll choose gray. And we can add as many clothing items as we want. Now, before, when I want to go to the next page, I, I use that left arrow at the top to go back to the main menu. But you can also just proceed to the next page in the sequence. So where it says go to driver and vehicle info, I'll tap there. And if it was uh, uh, related to a vehicle stop or if there was a vehicle involved in the scenario, we would fill out this information. So uh, driver identification, if I leave the name verified option untouched or if I choose no, there are no additional questions. But when I tap yes, additional uh, fields are revealed, such as what type of ID was provided. And I'll go and choose driver's license. And there's also fields that will let us scan the barcode uh, on the driver's license or even take a photo. Again, there's a section called vehicle licensing. Similar to the one above, if I leave it unchanged or put no, there are no additional questions. But if I tap yes, then I can answer things like what was the license plate number, Uh, or the type of license plate will go with passenger and you have things like the state where you can indicate uh, you know where the where the car is from expiration date and things like that there's a place to scan in the vehicle identification number as well our drop downs can also be dynamic so where it says car info if I go to make and I choose say uh, Dodge and hit the check mark then the drop down labeled model shows me Dodge models and I'll go with charger but if I change the make from Dodge to say, oh, let's go with uh, say Honda, then the drop down for model shows me Honda models. And that's how that works. You could also add a photo of the car. Let's move on to the causation section. So here we want to indicate the probable cause for the stop. So I'll tap yes. And there's a drop down labeled reasonable articulable suspicion for stop. I can go in there and select the reason, hit the check mark. Uh, I can indicate whether or not a pat-down was consented to and whether or not it was conducted. There's also a section for sobriety tests. So if I tap yes for field sobriety test given, then I have a list of the various sobriety tests and I can indicate which ones were taken with a pass or fail. We have a weapon or contraband discovered section. If that's on yes, then we can indicate um, whether or not the contraband was confirmed with a field test or not confirmed. Uh, and then we have some frequently uh, encountered elements like cocaine, heroin, cannabis, etc. I'll tap uh, yes for cocaine, and then for the weight, we'll go with 35 grams. You get the idea. Uh, weapons found. If I choose yes, then I can say which weapons, and we'll say um, a cattle prod and hit the check mark. Known affiliations is where we could indicate if that person is known to be associated with any groups in our area. Let's move on to narrative. So we'll tap go to narrative and I'll tap in the field labeled narrative and I'm gonna use my uh, microphone to do the speech to text. We observed Mr. Smith driving erratically down Main Street. We pulled him over and discovered he was driving without a driver's license and no insurance. 
So a citation was issued and his car was impounded. And it does a very good job of capturing everything that we said. We can sort of scan through and see if any corrections are needed and hit the check mark when done. Now I'm going to sign off on the app. So where it says tap to sign, I'll tap there. And as the officer involved, I'll put my name. And then we will ask the citizen to sign as well. So where it says tap to sign, then they can go ahead and sign off. And that's really it. We can go back to the main menu. And I'm going to tap the button that says tap to stop timer. And we can see that it, it took just over 10 minutes to complete the app. And remember that that involves me also explaining the different portions. So if I were going through it uh, in a normal scenario, I wouldn't be explaining the steps along the way. So it would be well under 10 minutes to complete all this information. So I hope you uh, found it interesting. We'd love to talk with you in more detail about customizing it for your department. Again, my name is Rich Kerr, K-E-R-R. My phone number is 781-462-6714. Again, 781-462-6714. And my email address is rich.kerr, K-E-R-R, at alphasoftware.com. A-L-P-H-A-S-O-F-T-W-A-R-E.com. Thanks so much for your time and attention. Have a productive day.